of the 11th, 1982. Thank you. Way I'll just record everything, mate. Can I go? Oh, my little legs. You struggling? Come far today? Uh, yeah, Luton. Luton? Yeah. Well. Is that where you were born, Stephen? Yeah, born in Luton. Born in the L and D. Working today, where are you working at? I'm a journalist. A journalist? Yeah. Alright, okay. So. Balls for sale. What's for sale? Balls. And not police car? As in fucking. Bow. Ball. Ball for sale. <laughs> you look like you, you look like the kind of bloke who would go buy a ball. <laughs> Twenty-five. Person PNC check points. Uh, Are you going back to see him? Yeah, five ninety on the What do you reckon? Beautiful day. Surname Lennon, name at a corner of the ever. I wonder if this is to do with the double bacon cheeseburger in the services. <laughs> or the multi faith room. Can I tell you that details, please? Zach Walton, ZAC. Oh, one second. There is no such thing as social distance. I've realised that with every police officer I've met over the last four weeks. They come straight up, John. They don't care about social distancing. No, look, look. But look, it's not, it's not two metres. It's... Mm. I mean. What's the time? Six o'clock. Multi-faith room stitch up. <laughs> Imagine you went to court for fucking for going in a multi-faith room, having a burger. <laughs> what are you in here for, mate? What are you in here for? What are you in here for? GBH section eighteen. What are you in here for? I had a burger in a multi-faith room tonight. <laughs> How long are you doing, mate? I'm probably doing double the time he's doing. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I've got three years, and I've got six. I've got six, I sat on the prayer bed, like, I've got an extra year for that. We want to go, lads. <laughs> how many points you got? How many points? How many points you got? Insurance went down. Insurance went down. I've got eighteen. I've got eighteen. I seriously have. No, yeah, because I've got exceptional circumstances. What's your insurance on, killer? Don't know, I don't pay insurance. I'm on my mate's car garage, huh? So I'm me help, little like appeal for Emily Jones, killer. Image, please. Very good, very good point. We are right to go, lads. We are right to go, lads. Um, just 
I'm responsory. I'm responsory. And we're working, yeah. You are working. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. What is it you I'm a journalist. You're a journalist? Yeah. To report on news. Yeah, but now, what yeah. is it you're coming up here for? I've just interviewed someone about two miles that way. Okay. I'm on the way to another destination now to right. interview someone else. Okay. And that's your reason for travelling up today? Yeah, as a journalist. Right. And does it take everybody? I mean, I don't understand the journaling world. Yeah, so. cameras. Same. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Driver. So how come you haven't driven up yourself? Who? You. I'm lazy. I'm, I've got 18. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least that you've been honest. But I've, you got, know. I've got 18 points on my driving license. I ain't driving nowhere. <laughs> so you don't have a license? I do have a license, oh. but I just then risk driving. I always get, yeah, and we've been... We're working while we're driving. Okay. While we're, I'm just trying to understand yeah. what it is that you're all doing yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. It's, it's like, if, if I, I could ask you, is this essential what, for your job? You? Yeah, for your job. Yeah, of course it is. Okay. Why well, there's no, there's, there's, but there's no crime here. There's no, there's, there's no, there's no crime here, is there? Use no, but there's no crime. This isn't. We, you, we're not suspected of a crime. No, but we have the. We can stop in a vehicle on the road. No, no, okay. So, but it's that essential. I've spoken to the, the driver, and I'm just making conversation now to see what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. That's all. No, you was. Yeah, but you was questioning if it was essential. But yes, my job, so, my job's essential. Right. Okay. Well, which means I. Which means I. Which means our travel's essential, isn't it? Don't go to work. Yeah. Back to work. Can we go? Um, I'm just waiting to see what's happening with them. Are you taking all the details? I've taken the And what about... Um, what do you think you know that um, we don't know about the social distancing and you are to get the social distancing? Well, I thought all the police would be wearing masks, wouldn't they? When they're wearing masks and gloves. And you're all together. Even though you're not, you're not too Not the weak hair, because we don't, I don't believe it anyway. I don't really believe in it or not. I just don't because no police officers do it. But you weren't in the car with us. You weren't in the car with us, and you've come within two meters, two meters of us. I'm saying no. I mean, like your officers have been at that window. That's within. Two. Right, you know, down, the best thing to the best thing to do there, was no there wasn't was there surely there should be a higher incidence of cases within the police and the best thing to do to prevent to, to make sure you we don't social distance is not to put a sofa <laughs> 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 if you're a suspectum of crime i understand but you don't suspect us of crime i know but you shouldn't really because you could do that all day Pardon? you shouldn't really you should because you don't suspect it well you don't well, I'm not argue with you. Oh, okay, cool. Can we go? Can we go? Your journey is essential, and I'm trying to establish whether or not I think it is. Oh, my journey is definitely essential. <laughs> but I'm not going to, because I'm, I'm, I'm essential at work. But is that the reason? So you pulled us over looking to give out COVID regulation tickets? Okay. Um, so obviously now we need to stop what we're doing next. Cool, nice, cool. Um, so Can we go now? Yeah. Can we go yeah, now? As long as we've got all the details, we go I just need to make sure it's nice and Thank you. Thanks. Nice, cool. Yeah. Money having fun. <laughs> <laughs> video talk for video Driver, and we're planning the documentary. Oh, you're planning the documentary? Oh, so you're, you're planning the documentary? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got um, paperwork and stuff to say, like, from your company and stuff like that. Hmm. No. What documentary is it? Trying to establish the truth of what's happened in Barrow. Right. We're just uh, doing some checks with that one. Yeah, yeah, cool. Because obviously with the COVID regulations and stuff, yeah, I know. <coughs> well, the, the regulations are 
we can go to work. Yeah, yeah, I get that. We're just at work. That. We've interviewed someone. We've made sure we've just met someone else down there. We made sure we, with her, the lady we met, um, and we've got another two people are waiting to meet now. We're just literally putting together video of our interviews, trying to establish, because there's a whole lot of mixed messages out there of what's actually gone on in Barrow. So, I thought I knew what was going on until I come up here and all. Didn't we? It's all up in the air. Yeah, that's right, we're in Barrow. Um, Dominic Cummins, mate, if your child's ill and you want to drive them because you're both feeling ill, any way you want, mate, you do it. I'm, I'm on Dominic Cummins' side in this argument. <laughs> For the record. Those people saying, yeah, he shouldn't have done it, he shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Mate, when that COVID first hit off at the time it was, everyone was panicking like hell. No one knew that if you got COVID, you'd never see him again. And him and his wife were both had symptoms. So, from what I understand, we're late, officers, for our meeting. What are we waiting for, lads? No. What are, we, what are we waiting for? Uh, just waiting for someone to get back to the sergeant as well. Just about checks and that. Once he's got the information. Then cool. Hmm. What's that? Oh, what we cook now? Wind turbines. I was trying to think what you're on about. They just ruined the area. I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> All I heard was they ruined the area. I thought, oh, I know what we're talking about. And then you saw wind, wind turbines. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would if my kids were crying. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I don't really. I know we're all being told to do this lockdown, and I don't know. It's hard, isn't it? My mum and dad ain't been out of their house for what? T t nine weeks, we're saying? Thousands on the I see all the thousands on the beaches. I see all the people. Like, that's what they should do. Just drive down South End, mate. I've seen the images today. Time four o'clock. Mm -hmm. What are you on about? That, that Audi, car, Audi, Audi 16 tons of one miles an hour. Then, mate, why are you seeing it? Same because huh? he's quiet, there's more of that going on. Evil, man. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Mm. She's got one. It's over tight, you see a vehicle in the distance, and all of a sudden, she. <laughs> Just gone. Just gone. Just gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're on response, am I? I just got the guns on them. I know. Yeah, I know. The, 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 the last had one. The last was on response. Yeah. Have you got docs to say that you're registered? Are you with press then? Associated oh, press. I am. You realise you don't have documents to be a journalist. If you, if you, you should be registered though. No, you shouldn't. That's not the law. Right. Oh, oh, officer. Seriously, it's not. I'm being told by our bosses that... So who decides who, the, who journalists are? You? The, well, they're registered. No, they're not. They be, that's no, no, being, no, they're not. That's what, that's what I'm being told. That no, but that's not the law. No. So if you're, pretend, if you're a solicitor, yes, you have to have registered to be a yeah, solicitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the same with journalists. Right. I'll double check that. Yeah, no, double check, yeah. Because the the otherwise what becomes then is that the only people that you, the police, are saying can be journalists or can cover stories mm. are what the people that... Uh, registered and yeah. Uh, the main, which so so the only narrative like, people, like, the only oh, narrative yeah. the public will ever get yeah. is the narrative the state want them to have. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. But I, no, I, I honestly, where you're from. I, I, I am employed by a company. I'll give you the company name right. to work as a journalist. Right. And what's that company? I'll give you it. It's called. Uh, so I'm I'm employed full time right. by that company as a journalist. All all. Have you got the proof? Have you got the documents for that? Then can you 
you prove that that's the company that's yeah 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 so I'll send you like yeah. Pride, yeah home pride and we're all we're everyone here today is paid to be here to work What's he on about? Like, that has to be a register to be a journalist. No, it has to be a register to be a journalist, is it? No. No. No, because it didn't make it state control. I know, because it is state control. What was your first name? Uh, Stephen Lennon. Stephen. PH. My name's Brian. I'm one of the sergeants. Cool, so, so, so you're all employed by this whole thing? Yeah. You're doing a documentary. Doing a documentary, yeah. We've interviewed uh, three people so far. We're meant to be another person's now to interview them. Right, okay. um, trying to get to the bottom of the headlines. What's true, what's not true. We know we're trying to do it. Obviously. Yeah, no, that sounds yeah. Because obviously, obviously, say like tonight, if you go to the car park where you're about to go to, mm. at seven o'clock, there'll be journalists there. Are you going to stop them, pull them, drag them out, tell them they can and can't? Who do they work for? Who's no, your company? It's, it's one of those. It's just the same as any. Other. It's not though. Is it coming seriously? But uh, if the bit, if any other journalist is driving up here, are you going to pull them over, ask them who they work for, check with their company, tell them you want to see a pass? We'll stop, we'll stop them. A lot of people today. We haven't been. How many other journalists you stopped today? Uh, you're the first one. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. <laughs> I think they look more intimidating than black cars, don't they? The black cars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, white the black one means I'm responsible. Does that, that mean I'm responsible? The black one? Black. Uh, no, it's just. Well, these happen to be. But not all. Which one's on? Because they have red in London, don't they? No, just like that. The red here. Yeah. That's just as an advantage. No, because the red, the red cars and then the red cars. Yeah, the red, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they're city, city of London, isn't it? City of London, yeah. The blue, red, and What do you reckon? What do you reckon to my skin fade, more importantly? Did we do all right? Tommy Nashbro, they're going to lift you. <laughs> speak to Paige Jones. Um, Mark, I've tried to speak to Paige Jones. From what I understand is many people linked to this are being advised not to talk to me from what they're saying by Maggie Oliver, unfortunately. Um, that's what I'm being told. So, and unfortunately this was ready, I'd say ready to blow the lid on it and come up here today, met with people, spoke with people, interviewed people pretty confusing situation to be honest there's a lot of um, truths half truths we'll see again all I'm to want to try and do is get to the truth of what's actually gone on get to the truth of the situation and you know a year ago I was here a year ago and I would met a victim of grooming in Barrow she gave me, and I've actually got the footage, I've dug it out. I've got the footage of me a year ago telling people in Barrow Town Centre, there's, there's Muslim takeaways in this town that are being used to groom kids. How come no one's reporting on it? I actually contacted a journalist, a local journalist. I had an argument with a local journalist in town that day where I was telling them, why won't they report on it? And I've seen all the reasons why people are saying people won't report on it. Um, for certain accusations, but again, I just want to put together a I've come up here to put together a piece, but it's a lot more difficult when the, once I've got up here and done a couple of interviews which contradict certain things. It's not a straight, it's not a straight story. This there's obviously a lot of problems. There's been a lot of victims. People have been, I don't know. Again, until I get into the town, let's just have this right. Yeah, every one of you who understand about Channel Four, will Channel Four dilute what's happened because I've heard Channel 4 are doing something with Maggie Oliver that's what I've heard I've heard they are yeah I've heard they are no no yeah 
I'll have one cough, her name is Props. <laughs> Do you know, we was driving and we was at the lights and there's this little chubby lady with blue hair and I'm knocked on the back, but I was just having a laugh. I was like, look, Antifa. And then she was like, who's that, who's that? And she's shouting, who's that? And I'm sitting in the back and you can't see me through the window. So Connor's, <laughs> Connor's pressed the button on the side and the door's open and she's looked at me. She goes, oh, it's you, you wanker. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's you, you wanker. <laughs> I was crying my eyes out. She said, are you up these ways for justice for Ellie? She seemed, I think she was, an, she said she was an, like, Antifa, but she said, um, she said, I hope they get justice for Ellie. Yeah, she did say good luck. She did say good luck. I hope they get justice for Ellie. It was funny though. I was trying to hide, I couldn't breathe. So. Mm. Filming. <laughs> Lads, you're just going to hold us here. How long are you going to hold us here for? Yeah, it's not just that it's Channel 4, but people have been convincing victims, victims and families that the only people they should talk to are Channel 4. I can say that out loud and not laugh. You know what I mean? Hopefully, she'll probably watch it. Is that a bigger shirt, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to have to just show you now, yeah? Listen. <laughs> These, man. Oh, what have I done now? What's that? <laughs> it's not mine, James. It's not mine, mate. It's borrowed. Any news, lads? This is where, which will be quite a pivotal moment, is this is where the police decide who journalists are. Not very good, is it, if this happens? That is then the police deciding who can give a narrative or who can investigate as a free press, free in the operative word. It's no longer free when the police have an involvement in who can and can't report. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, has it? Yeah. I don't know, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we check, check the footprint then we'll know straight away. <laughs> <laughs> the culprit is. It's alright. Oh, oh. yeah, hey. <laughs> One bit we do need is when he comes back over in a minute, which he's going to probably say, you're not allowed to report. That is the police deciding who journalists are. Yeah, 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 Sam. So when he gets out of the car, we'll get a recording. Even we can use this like, as part of the video, bro. Let's put it all together. I bet what it is now, they're probably thinking, well, we don't want him to go, but are we, the police, going to tell the journalists that they can't go? Which then, I guess, shows as a... doesn't it? <laughs> you all right? What do you reckon? Oh, here we go, he's coming. Action. 
Mum. Let's see what's going to happen. It's that moment. Ooh, what's going to happen? Where did the comments go? I don't know. New comments here. Seen Shaggy today, Tommy. Hello, Maggie. So I was told them you were coming. Yeah, I did make my little video yesterday to say I weren't coming purposely so that I didn't have police waiting on the bridge just to pull me in to do this. But we got we got up here. We've been up here a few hours, haven't we? We've already grabbed a couple of interviews off different people. Um, but hopefully, there's a team meeting going on. Look. Yeah, mate. What we'll do, yep. um, I, I've just tried to get it from our bosses, the legislation, and as you're quite right, the point out, when it comes to journalism and things like that, it's, it's up in the air, isn't it? So, um, what we're going to do is let you have a simple seat. Thanks. It's one of those with the, with the global legislation. We'll do this with absolutely everybody. Yep. It isn't really just because journalism is in there and everything else. It's more to kind of try and encourage people to not go around the country or around the county That's cool. the local, like, so we're kind of asking you nicely yep. to head back to, to back home but I understand if, if I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah not yeah you know so um as far as we're concerned that's that's what we're, we're doing if there are any any offenses that we detect afterwards then you may be reported for those but okay uh, if, you, if you're acting with the legislation and stuff, yep. then, 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 hey if Dominic Cummins can do it so can we <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dominic. <laughs> um, we've been carrying out social distancing. Yeah. And that, and that, and that, that's with with where we're all we're doing now, we've got. Well, we're hopefully you've probably killed it now because what's the time? Yeah, we've probably missed our interview. We're meant to do now. We'll uh, we'll, we'll get you away. Shot. The only thing we'd need to sort out is uh, insurance, just yep. to make sure the driver's insurance. I'll give you the name. Yeah, yeah. We're checking on the insurance policy. At the moment, so. Yeah, no problem. Right. So. Come on.